After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. But before continuing any further, I am extremely happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Opera GX. The Opera GX browser is the world's first browser for gamers. Opera GX is extremely useful especially for PC gamers because of the GX control. The GX control is used to enhance performance on your PC while gaming and having your browser opened. It gets rid of the lags while playing RuneScape, perfect if you are like me and have plenty of tabs open at all time. The panel lets users limit their computer CPU or ROM they are willing to let their browser use. You can even limit the network bandwidth used by the Opera GX browser to gain performance in games and streams. The GX player allows you to log into Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music directly from the left hand sidebar in Opera GX. There is also a Discord and a Twitch integration on the sidebar on Opera GX where you can see whenever your favorite streamer goes online. There are plenty of other integrations as well such as Facebook Messenger, Twitter, Instagram. And for the design of the browser, you can customize the browser with special themes, wallpapers, and colors. And best of all, downloading and using Opera GX is completely free. You can find the link in the description down below. In the start of this episode, I want to unlock a new area. This area being Shiloh Village. In Shiloh Village, there are plenty of things to do. You can mine gems right here. You can do a lot of fishing. You can even train smithing and crafting right here. So there's plenty of things to do here in Shiloh Village, even though it's such a tiny little area. The hardest part of the quest, we need to kill Nasa only using poison this time. So killing it using poison didn't actually work because it despawned. So I had to use my main to venom it and kill it that way. Yes, that should be it. We did it. There we go. Shiloh village have been completed. I've been scouted already. I didn't get the opportunity to do anything before getting scouted here. Look at the amount of scout. One thing that's great with Shiloh village, we can sell items here to Oboli for increased prices. Look at that. All the GP. Do we have 100k? 108k? We are a rich man. Another epic thing we can do, we can mine these gems. Look at them, all these people. All these main has one hunter each, but none of them have the quest done, so I'm just running free here. All of them are questing right now. It is time for a quest where I have to run around the entire game for the entire quest. One small favor. Yeah, I won't make it. You see, these debowers are gonna stand everywhere in the game. And one thing that's different compared to the last episode is that I now can get one hit by Dark Bows and Dragon Warhammers. Ooh. The hardest part about this quest is the fact that I have to use recoils and juggle food to kill the boss. work did it work we got the kill a lot of world hopping logging and just uh, logging off the game later one small favor have been completed finally and this is a very very important quest because oh is there a D? the depot was right there we have completed the quest which is gonna make our account much safer because we're gonna get 10k experience on hit points giving us 39 hit points one combat level and we're gonna get another 10k experience on hit points, giving us 42 hit points. Almost 19 combat. We can still get one hit by both the Dark Bow and the Dragon Warhammer, but we're being much safer now, so that's great. One massive upgrade we can do to the account is creating a Good Dix Restore, giving us Herbler experience while also being able to overeat our HP. So if we sip one of these before doing something dangerous, a Dragon Warhammer can no longer one-hit me. Look at here, there he is. Coming from the distance. Did he get this unlocked? He just ran off. Does he have it unlocked? 
Oh my god, I got away. <laughs> I just got 51 wood cutting. Look at this spot I found. Three trees in safe zone. One, two, three. Uh, these hunters are very mad that I'm in the safe zone right now. Another goal I have for this account is to obtain 60 wood cutting so I can enter the wood cuttings guild. A place not many PKers, I'd say zero, have unlocked. 52 wood cutting. And I got scouted. Great. Whenever I get scouted, I do something completely different. This time, I completed Creature of Frankenstein. Oh my god, another one. 65 farming. We can now enter the mid-tier farming guild, grow his story, and there was something else. I can't remember. Currently, it's peak time for Europe and America, and the boars have locked down every single teleport. I'm talking Chronicle, Ecto, Cloak, every single teleport I can use. So, I'm in free-to-play world. A free-to-play PvP world where I'm just woodcutting. Alright, I guess I can't do free-to-play anymore. Here's the interesting thing. To enter this part of the farming guild, you're gonna need 65 farming. And as far as I know, there's not a single deboer or a Dragon Warhammer build with 65 farming. So I'm gonna be here safely as far as I know. Yep, it seems like he doesn't have an account either. Three people have scouted me, zero people with access to this area. And this should be the first woodcutting level here, 53 woodcutting. That's 54 woodcutting, another level, still no PKs. I'm loving this place. 79 hunter? You thought this was woodcutting, didn't you? <laughs> He's trying. He hates this place because he can't enter. Holy shit, he got far. Oh my god, I, I panicked. He made me panic tap. Oh, he didn't have an account and he just showed up with a dragon warhammer. This could potentially be the casket. Good luck on the medium casket, here we go. Ooh, an unholy blessing. Another casket and uh, nothing. Oh, the grind is finally over. 80 hunter. Finally, oh my god. I've waited for such a long time. Now I can actually boost up to catch dragon implings. All I need is 53 herb lore. Uh, to make hunter potions right here. So currently the best way for me to obtain herbs for herb lore is by training hunter and doing herbivore. I'm not gonna complain about the herbs I get from herbivore. Very nice, very nice. The next 30 minutes I AFK this shooting star will be my best 30 minutes this week. Ah, oh, look at that. 547 stardust from being in a safe zone. That's plenty of crafting experience, thank you very much. Oh my god, that's a dragon nimpling. I wish it was mine. More safe zone training and that's 49 cooking. Fifty cooking. Just look at all the herbs I've collected. So many irrits, so many toad flex, snapdragons and 43 herb lore. 44 herb lore. <laughs> look at this, I got protection, all right. I hope a deep boris shows up up north and uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, we got an easy casket. Give us absolutely nothing. 45 herb lore. 46 herb lore. 47 herb lore. 48 herb lore. 49 herb lore. Alright, 52 cooking. We can now make botanical pie with this pie, we can boost up our herb lore and with boosted herb lore we can make hunter potion. I'm gonna troll people in Lumbridge, pretend that I've died.
You died. <laughs> Straight away he says you died. <laughs> I'm gonna speak to Hans as well. Uh, where is Hans? Look, no way. Say something. Oh my, all the divorce are coming out. <laughs> Everyone thinks I've died. One burnt. Two burnt. No way. I burnt all, all of them. All three. I burnt all three. All right, two more uncooked botanical pies. Please be lucky. Yes, we got at least one. Yep, we got one botanical pie. I think that might just be enough. All right, it is time. Eat half a botanical pie. Use this. And we have now ourselves a hunter potion three. If we use one of these sips, we will get 83 hunter and be able to catch dragon implings. So for the next episode, there will be a huge dragon impling grind. And if you made it till the end, I'm asking for two things and two things only. Give this video a like and subscribe if you made it this far. And for all of you hunters out there, the bounty have increased even further by 5 mil, then 15 mil, then another 4.5 mil, another 10 mil, another 30 mil, and another 69 mil. This puts the bounty at 3,745,000,000 GP. Good luck gamers.